coming to, to be a more positive, inclusive message to bring folks into the fold. So, Thanks. one of the, thank you, one of the things that happened when um, Tom Perez, former Labor Secretary, became the head of the DNC, um, he brought in uh, my colleague Keith Ellison, who was big Bernie surrogate. Uh, in fact, Keith will be here in two weeks. Um, I think that has helped bring the the more progressive wing of the party back into the fold or into the fold. Uh, we have more independents who are coming into the fold because they're de they're they're just disillusioned. I think what happened in many regards is that the Democratic Party took voters for granted in a sense, and once you start taking folks for granted, you still have to court us. Mm -hmm. You know, you still have to court the voter. It's still a date. Don't take me to White Castle, baby. I want to go downtown. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, so I, 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 I think as a party, we kind of lost that magic. We took certain groups for granted. We took women for granted. The party took Latinos, African Americans for granted. They took white males for granted. Heavily. And um, Trump got 8% of the black vote, double that of Mitt Romney. He brought that up too in the meeting. He got 8% of the black vote. There were guys in barber shops who were like, why not give him a shot? Because the disillusionment was so great. Um, and, 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 and a lot of people ask that question, what, what, what kind of positive message can we bring? Because there's so much uh, disillusionment and discontent right now. But my, my buddies on the other side, they're not trying to be positive, which is probably why it's worked for them. They're using negativity mm -hmm. to prey on people's sense of hopelessness. So we have to show the contrast in what you're doing, man. I really appreciate that. Keep doing it, brother. Thank you. All right, thank you, Congressman. Thank you, everybody.